Welcome back to the ramen bowl where every week there's a new flavor of the week and this week's flavor is crunchy roll specifically crunchy rolls um award that the crunchy roll awards which i did not watch but i have all the info um <laughs> i watched right i think you, you said you yes. watched it you did watch it um i would like to introduce all the members of today's podcast or whatever this side content is um first we have brian from also from the sound test podcast that i uh featured on two weeks ago two weeks ago yeah like two weeks ago two three weeks yeah around there around that time um also with deontay and clayton who were also on the show as well um there's also a featured guest my friend kd who my Hi, love baby. So I would love for you guys to introduce yourselves, starting with KD. Hi, I'm KD. Um, I like anime and shit. I'm kidding. Um, I'm a teacher. And <laughs> and I'm, just, I'm just happy to be here, guys. Everybody has podcasts. I'm so new to this. So thank you for having me. Thank you for allowing me to share my thoughts. This is going to be so great. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. <laughs> You know what, since you decided to show up, but Clayton, introduce yourself. What up, bitches and bros, non-binary hoes? I'm going to mute you. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's from the it's from the This bowl of rum has gone sour. That's like the best line from uh, the English um first the English dub of Skate to Infinity, but it's your boy Clayton. Um, you know, I'm from the Sound Test Podcast. And if I'm going to plug, put an early plug in, if you want to follow my art page at Planet Ford Productions, I do anime and I am open for commissions. That's right. Um, let's also go ahead and start to introduce Ryan, who I believe you, you start did you start sound had sound test podcast or did yes was that like a conglomerate okay so yeah. um yeah it's on the sound test youtube page um at first it just started with me just talking about music stuffs um and like hip-hop retrospectives and stuff like that um but then i had idea um and clayton deontay uh friend max was all for it for doing a podcast so um we get on there routinely talk about video game stuff anime stuff general nerd stuff um and it all comes from the kind of like you know lens of creators of color so that's the you know two sentence pitch for sound test please check us out we we have a lot of fun um we don't take anything serious <laughs> not, not, a, not a damn thing <laughs> So yeah, it's fun just to hang out, chill out, and just talk general nerd shit. And then we also have my fake husband, Sid Squiddy. Yeah! <laughs> Hello. Uh, I am Deontay. Um, they call me Squid sometimes or whatever. I don't know why. It's, really, tell me it's, not it's because I love you. No, I I knew your nickname before your actual name before I got to college. Yeah, that's the problem. That's actually, same. That that's the same. It's terrible. <laughs> but like actually, yeah. faculty your nickname, members. Your nickname is Deontay. Your real name is Squiddy. <laughs> <laughs> like faculty <laughs> members so at school called him. We're Squiddy. calling me. Yeah, like that's how bad. Like, well, we do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, yes. So yeah, also, the, one of the other all... names random nerds that got together from a uh, uh, cookman um also kind of thanks to kd for madam prezi for being madam prezi for mm -hmm. the anime gaming club that we had have had i haven't been back in a minute i don't know if it exists anymore <laughs> listen after kadisha left it's, years, it's out of my hands it's <laughs> out of our hands because kadisha was president um yeah. somebody else was president i was president i don't know who actually i i don't remember who was the president after me but i think daphne I was the last president. It, man. yeah daphne was the last sitting president and the last active member that i that was there when we were still there that was there still and i think she just graduated this past fall so i don't know it's completely new people if it is still there 
but at least it ran for a while. Oh. Like, well, we started at twenty. Hold up, give me one. Twenty sixteen, and it we it went for like six, seven years. Yeah. I I mean, it was a long span. You, I, I will give that to you. You did a, you did a, you did your shit with that. <laughs> it was a, it was a, a safe thing for the nerds. Yeah, it was our space. We 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 had it, and I love you guys for trusting the vision and following and the dream you know, following oh, the yeah. dream helping establish that space i love y'all so much of course. are are we just gonna <laughs> ignore that clayton like unhinged his jaw and just started yeah, i just was gonna yelling. mention <laughs> he was just like <laughs> oh my okay. did, did you want to hear the yell because no my, i did but my it's game just like... is up pretty much but yeah remember what we were talking before we started recording that my dad asked me to help him with stuff he's like <laughs> hey yelling from downstairs but no i'm recording he's so, like Wait, i need you to shovel the lawn <laughs> <laughs> But that I mean, hour, hey, that hour shovel. lawn, 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 lawn in we're digging lawn holes. Lawn in Nebraska. I, I need, need you to, to mow my one. toenails. That's what I need you to do. <laughs> yeah, mow my toenails and clip the grass. So speaking of the uh, Crunchyroll Awards, um, like I said, Brian was probably the only one who watched it, like actually watched it, because it was two I'm hours a good long. Student. Because you're a good student, and you know what? Extra credit for nothing. <laughs> Well, I, I will I will say this, the experience watching it, um, there's a lot of awkwardness. Cause um, oh, really? because it's it was shot live in Japan. So you got a lot of the, you know, uh talk to the screen for for a few minutes and then wait while the translator talks, then they talk again, then wait for the translator to talk. It was a lot of that. Um mm. a lot of creators when they received the awards, they were very nervous when they was getting their awards um sometimes they had random american celebrities they had like two or three wwe superstars they had like two football athletes there a lot going on for an anime awards show (laughs) it's their i think it's their seventh one so there's i think they're still you know getting and they're expanding and i was gonna say some of the people like the celebrities that were featured are people who have avidly talked about anime like one of the girls, um, I think, I think her name's Alexa Vega, but she's a really prominent, like, upcoming female wrestler, and like, yeah. she has tattoos of anime characters all on her body, and she like, like some of her poses and some of her uh, costume designs are anime inspired. So these are people who are like, you know, they're a part of the community. They they're just on a bigger platform, so they started, you know, mm. and, and into those. Spaces. And and another thing, like, it was two hours long, but there was like musical breaks in there. There was like pop times were just like it was just a screen just saying we'll be back later there was like little documentary style things where there was like interviewing people about like what anime mean means to them and stuff like that so it 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 wasn't it wasn't a terrible watch um one cool announcement though um and i don't know why like not a lot of people are talking about this um crunchyroll made a partnership with sony um music and they're putting anime music onto like Crunchyroll as part of their subscription service now. I had no idea about that. Ooh! That's pretty dope. Yeah. They announced that like really early into the show and it was like, like, oh, this is dope because I know I know for a fact like it's always hard to find like anime music one, one in good quality yeah. and two in a in a legal way. <laughs> right. I mean Spotify doesn't okay so so job but a lot of the anime unless it's the the original soundtrack for the anime itself like with made in abyss like i think all of that is like its own original stuff but then certain animes they do take songs from other like artists and stuff a lot of the time and and it's in like in licensing hell for one reason or another and you can't really Mm -hmm. get any access to it right Ooh, they gonna keep my money. Um, so that's so a good thing. I wanted to talk about some of the categories from the show, from the uh, award show. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Um, obviously, you know the the top one that they people were talking about, or people were probably focusing on, is going to be anime of the year. Um, so the four, the nominees for that was Attack on Titan Final Season Part Two, mm. Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Demon Slayer. Lit Chorus Recoil. I have no idea what that is. 
um, Ranking of Kings and Spy Family. So I know that you guys have probably watched probably a good number of these. I know personally, I don't know what licorice recoil is. Licorice, Me and I definitely did not watch Cyberpunk Edge Runners, to be honest. But everything else. It's on my to do list. Everything else. So I yeah. I started Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Um it's really cool. It's um I only I only watched the first three episodes. Um but you the animation the style anime lovers try. Say it again. You gave it the good anime lovers try. I, I mean mm-hmm. I'm gonna watch more of it. Uh yeah, I feel like three episodes is fair enough to be like, okay, I'm interested in this. Um I, I think it should a bit it maybe it, it explains it later on because it's only 10 episodes, but I feel like it should have did a better job of explaining the world of cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. It kind of just throws you in and there's just a lot of stuff happening at once in the first few episodes. Um, But like, it's very gorgeously animated and is anybody by um, studio trigger. Mm -hmm. Um, Voice acting is really great. Um, And it, it's, it's really solid. Yeah. I, 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 the the little bit I watched, I really liked it. And it's kind of, you know, it doesn't have any, back catalog so you don't have to know a whole bunch of other stuff i would want some you know clarification since it is still a new ip to get introduced to the world but you don't have to watch three four seasons of something prior to you know get into it right i know um demon slayer and attack on titan had really big followings so i was really thinking that either one of them would probably be the anime of the year yeah um I know. I, I, forget, I know. Attack on. Sorry, I almost fell. What was I almost fell. No, you go. I was gonna say because <laughs> uh, I'm sitting on, sitting on a stool. I don't have an actual oh. chair, guys. I'm sitting oh. on a stool. <laughs> I'm right here on a tote. Uh, we are oh. just doing what the best we can. God, um, I was surprised to see Spy Family like in that for Anime of the Year. I mean, I know it was really like I love Spy Family. I love a good little right. slice of life with a hint of, you know, action. But, like, just when you look at that anime compared to the other ones that were nominated for Anime of the Year, because even Licorice Reach Coil, like, I haven't watched it, but from what I've heard, it's it's very action-packed, but it's still a really good story. Like, I just wasn't... But there's also, like, a fantasy element. Like, I, I, I was really surprised that Spy Family was made it to be Anime of the Year, like, as far as nominations are concerned. Um, but it, it got a lot of nominations. Was, yeah, yeah. I, I know um i got a lot of a lot of nominations and i was actually really surprised by that because i personally like i loved it but i thought mm-hmm. it was kind of like a niche kind of thing like i thought like people were just kind of yeah. there was like a it wasn't like a major following i didn't think that it was gonna show up too yeah. much and i think because it was it's a show that does a lot of things right and slightly more off the beaten path because of the situation that it is. I mean, everybody's living a, a undercover life of, in, in some way and they all have to figure out how to not not expose each other all the way, in a way, in a weird sense. Yeah, It's like a big game of, of guess who, but no one is trying to guess. Hmm. <laughs> I like that, yeah. yeah. But in, it, in its simplest terms, in its simplest terms, like coming from somebody who's been in the anime community for a long time, I knew Spy Family was going to be great because one, oh, cute little girl, and she's like a little dumb, but that's okay because she's Anna's adorable. adorable. Yeah, and she's then, adorable. adorable and stupid. We love her. <laughs> and then Yor, she's like, you know what? I'm a badass bitch, but I got to keep my undercover life secret because I, I'm hot as fuck. I'm, so- I'm a sucker <laughs> for those type of characters where like, their outward personality is completely different from like their job their or like life. yeah right i i yeah, honestly like that kind of stuff. Stuff always- you're still my whole entire heart i love your so much she kills people in in red bottoms and that's what i want to be as a person <laughs> in <Louboutins. Yeah. laughs> she, she said or, if i'm gonna slay you i'm gonna slay you <laughs> and does it well oh it so it's well it's- that's everybody's thorn princess. Mm-hmm. So the winner for this uh, category was... Attack on, gotta be Attack on Titan. 
It was Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoa. It was in fact Cyberpunk Edge Runners. But again, a show that I did not even watch. <laughs> so, wow. As I said, I watched it earlier today. Um, and what it won, I was like, okay, let me see why it won. <laughs> mm. So I, that, that's yeah. why I actually won it today. And I've heard a lot of good things, even when it first came out. Uh, and I was like, yeah, it's really good. Like, really good. <laughs> Despite how, like, terrible the game's launch was. And I think, honestly, that's probably why I didn't want to, like, look into it. Because I saw the game launch, and I was like, mm, everyone's upset about this. So, yeah, you definitely don't need the context of the game. Um, <laughs> and to be fair, the game is an RPG, so you're kind of, like, you're just kind of going through the world yourself. This has a, like a, you know, a actual con concentrated story. And I think what makes it, what works really well is just how gritty the world is. Like it's, it's a shitty place to live in. Like it's, it's a, a it awful not place. It's all roses and, and cybernetics. No. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's like literally points where like people are, are dying and like, you know, you see like the medical people to come to save them. And they, because mm -hmm. it's like in the future, so they scan them. And it's like, oh, they don't have insurance. All right, we're leaving. And they just dip. Whoa. <laughs> well, like, it's, it's America, stuff like anime? that. <laughs> um, It's like, they're, everybody's cybernetic. So you see, like, people, like, literally, like, on drugs or, like, the thing, the, the modifications that made to the body is affecting their brain. And so, like, they're just, like, losing it. It's people, like, actual villains with, like, humongous gun arms and sword arms and it's it's a really depressing world to be in that and, sounds horrible <laughs> and yeah, the main it's... character david uh, martinez he's a 17 year old who's apparently like super smart but he's go but he's like literally from the hood he's like the slums and he's going to this like prestigious academy and he's essentially being bullied because of it his mom is trying to like her best to give him a good life um there's a lot of emotional heartstring stuff that's going on there. Aww. But it definitely lives up to the cyberpunk name because it's just a terrible place full of terrible people <laughs> doing terrible things. I definitely want to, now that you explained it, I think I definitely want to try it and give it a try. Maybe, I think I was thrown off again. Again, I was thrown off because the, the game, that whole <clears throat> debacle, but I think I would give it a, a try. Um, the next, uh, the next one that they had, well, the one that I wanted to go over was the best character design. Cyberpunk Edge Runners is up again for that one. Demon Slayer is up for that one. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, My Dress Up Darling, Ranking of Kings, and Spy Family are all runners for the best character design. Um, now those. Listen, That's... I'm gonna go I with Cyberpunk. All of them, I I definitely loved. Um, you know, I'm a JoJo girl in my core. Like, it was specifically. Core. I think they were talking about Stone Ocean, and I think I love yeah. Stone Ocean. <clears throat> oh, I did. I loved. I love anything JoJo's that studio that David Productions has put out has been a phenomenal um, adaptation for JoJo's. But like, for the other ones, like. I love JoJo's, but I also could see where Demon Slayer could have taken that one. Only because yeah. like the Entertainment District arc was so good and the designs of the characters, especially the villains for that one. I was like, damn, mm. these niggas is pretty. Even the ugly demon. I was like, you're pretty with your ugly. It was it was a gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous show. Very good. I personally stuff. wanted to give it to Spy Family specifically for your, but I knew it was like I I know in my heart of hearts it, yours not gonna get. It. Yeah. Mm. My bet um, my bet's on Cyberpunk before you beat the answer. I'm gonna guess before every category. Cyberpunk? Did you watch Cyberpunk too? <laughs> no. <laughs> I only saw they do, have, they do have some really nice designs though. I do yeah. like the character. I mean, Studio yeah. Trigger is known. Yeah. Studio Trigger is known for like bomb ass character designs. Like if you've ever seen Goran Lagan or Kill La Kill, mm -hmm. like Trigger oh, and Kill La Kill. It, 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 they're all they're very very all in on style with mm -hmm. with every production they do. Like style. Mm -hmm. Like look at the fucking neon colors. They like just all those trailers for Cyberpunk, and it's like damn. 
I know it's going to be good. Just to be based off of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I think if I would be leaning in any direction, I would probably say it's either going to be Demon Slayer or Cyberpunk that gets it for best character design. The Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District arc was unbelievable. It was like, it was unbelievable. The, the Aurons and how beautiful they were just like, oh my gosh, like. Oh my God, yeah. And, but also I, I have seen stuff about, uh, I've seen some of the character designs for Cyberpunk. And uh, mm -hmm. there was like, it was like popular on TikTok for a minute. Mm -hmm. They were like, they had their own videos mm -hmm. on TikTok. So I was like, oh, that, that looked interesting. So the winner for that category ended up being Demon Slayer, Akira Matsushima. Mm -hmm. That's, that is actually who ended up winning for that one. And I'm not, again, not surprised. Not surprised in the slightest. Uh, let's see. The next one that I wanted to look into was best continuing series. There is a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, yeah, I like, that's like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the ones for best continuing series, the, the nominees were. Attack on Titan for Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2. Demon Slayer for Inter Entertainment District Art. <laughs> Kaguya Sama Love is War. I love it. I don't that. Know. It was I so good. Finish it. So good. <laughs> oh my God. Love it. it. Love it. And the there movie, was Joker's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean, <laughs> Maiden Ooh. Abyss, The Golden City of the Scorching Sun, and One Piece. Now, I know with One Piece, especially this most recent arc, people have been losing their shit over One Piece. But I have to say, Attack on Titan has been giving the girls a run for their money. Mm. Attack on Titan has been, has Mappa, been for real. I know, Listen, I know yeah. Thing, yeah. But this last season, they have done their damn thing with the final season. MAPPA has definitely put Attack on Titan back on the map for me. Listen, Attack it's on just, Titan. It's just the way they're putting the shit out. This is the problem. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. what? I mean, this between is the final 50 season? other products, the 50 other shows that they have to literally produce, like, I, I understand. Hmm. Like, with oh. Wit, when Wit had that four year gap between season one and season two, like, I don't think there was any excuse for that for real, besides maybe like money or just like, you know, overall productivity. But with MAPPA, MAPPA literally has been commissioned to do like 10. Like, like I would say even five of like some of the biggest anime right now, like because they were doing Chainsaw Man, they're doing Jujutsu Kaisen, they're doing like, like several other shows. So I'm like, you know, Attack on Titan has been going for a while. The people who love the series, they're going to wait and watch it. So I get why they're taking their time. Right. They kind of have to. Listen, Attack now, on Titan no. snatching edges, girl. Snatching edges. I'm about to be bald here. You see my edges gone. You you right. see this hoodie? <laughs> it's high the edges. Yes, yeah, up, mm, but like Attack on Titan, honestly, I think it can hold its own in this category with against One Piece. Because I'm sorry for all the One Piece fans out there, fuck y'all. One Piece is too long. Get to the Jeez. fucking point. <laughs> Let it die. Because there are almost 1,500 episodes. If it's, you ain't find that damn One Piece, it's already, not a it's not about the destination. It's, it's about, the, about the journey. journey. It's, it's the friends we made along the way. Listen, it's, listen. That's, that's that incarnate. No, it's first literally of all, that phrase. I hate that. I hate that bullshit. And you know why? Because I dedicated my life to uh, another long series, Naruto, and like it took me to finish all of the original Naruto, which was 220 episodes, right? And then we go to Shippuden, which was 500 episodes. That's 720 God, episodes. Damn. 720 episodes. It took me from my junior year of high school to my junior year of college four fucking years to watch all of that. I ain't doing that for One Piece. I can't mm -hmm. do it. I, I can't do it. I know it's about the, right. it's about the journey. Get to the fucking destination. What's the point? Please. I get <laughs> really pissed. You off. Like yes. that really made you mad. Yes, <laughs> like, it you never me bring off. up one piece around Clayton Ford ever right. again. Jesus. Literally, because I I I 
truly did give it a try after I finished Naruto. I'm like, okay, let's watch the first five episodes because I have a five episode rule. If I'm not thoroughly convinced that this anime is going to be good or bring me entertainment and then within the first five episodes, I'm out. I don't see how people chose to continue watching it. I'm sorry. It's not my cup of tea. <laughs> well, the winner for the category is One Piece. <laughs> 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 we all can't be winners in that. I'm going to show <clears throat> everybody who voted for One Piece. <laughs> Damn. One Piece, One Piece has a lot of fans. One Piece has a lot a of lot dedicated of fans. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so I, I'm not surprised. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised either. Like part of me already knew that. It's like, it, but I really do love Attack on Titan. I love mm-hmm. Kaguya-sama. Oh my god, that is such a cute, well it, it was thought so out. So good. Yeah. And the yeah, fact that the finish. jokes, yeah, and, and the jokes translated I say, well. Really I will say I mean, kind of um, funny, like just like the Spy Family one for Anime of the Year that Kaguya-sama was nominated for Best Continuing. Um, just because of the nature of the show, like it's only a three season show and I do not suspect that they're continuing. I don't think we're getting another season after season three. I think it's done. Well, no, like, they're just gonna do the movie and then and I think yeah. they're gonna be done. And the movie oh. came out, um, the movie came out Valentine's like week, but I, hey. I, I was gonna go see it and didn't go and I should have, but I didn't cause I didn't want to go by myself. Um, oh. Yeah, no, I'm probably gonna just buy it when it comes out. I'm not gonna lie to you, because I love that series. <clears throat> yeah, I want to start it because I've heard good things about it. I've heard a lot of good things about that one. It's so cute, and the jokes are hilarious. Mm. Like <laughs> some people are like adult, and I'm just like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, so the next. Um, since we have so many musicians on here, we're going to go straight to best opening sequence. Mm. We have Tiki Chiki Bon Bon from Ya Boy Kong Ming. I don't know what that is, but it's literally yeah, called boy. I, boy. I think it's a, com- it's a comedy anime. <laughs> mixed Nuts by, oh, Mixed Nuts from uh, Spy Family, which is, I think, one of my personal favorites. Naked Hero from Ranking of Kings. The Rumbling from Attack on Titan. The f- mm. Fire by France Ferdinand from Cyberpunk. And, ooh, Lord, can I say it? Zen Fuel <laughs> from Demon Slayer. Uh, 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 I'm not lie to you. I always end up giving it to Mixed Nuts because I love Mixed Nuts. So, so I, I know the winner. Talked me because the last time France Ferdinand did an anime opening was for freaking Paradise Kiss. And that's been years ago. And like, Ooh, I forgot right? about that. Yeah, but that's like, like I like their music, but I, I mean, I haven't seen Cyberpunk, so I don't really know. But Mixed Nuts or um the Rumbling intro's okay. Me. Yeah, cause Rumbling, Rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever it's I get that for me. And then it's a freaking death metal scream. <laughs> exactly. Right. Oh, Somebody is dying. Yeah. Somebody's dying when you listen to that. I'm like you have two great composition composition composition-wise, they're both like very good in their own rights. Like the death metal part because it's just catchy as fuck and it just goes hard. And mixed nuts because of just how like well and the harmonies and the the jazz. You hear the jazz, the jazz, jazz. all that damn jazz, jazz, that bass (laughs) opening line. Oh my Jesus, that bass just walks all over. Listen, fucking love. Y'all, y'all listen to more of their like their band, official Hike Donism. I will die on this hill. They are such a good fucking group. Like, like if you've ever seen Tokyo Revengers, like Crybaby. Oh, oh my, God. that's what put me like. And so then I recognized them with, with mixed nuts because they're they're vocalist. That man is sick too. The music, yes. Mm-hmm. The vocal, yeah, like they just go together so well. I I like their stuff. I I didn't I, I did a review on Tokyo Revengers too, but I did I liked the songs. I liked the music that I was hearing from Tokyo Revengers. I just could not get into him being a bitch ass baby. 
Thank you. The whole time. <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't. I couldn't I get, get uh, over him being a bitch boy the whole I get time. A, I get a new season is in production. I don't. I don't like it. You know what? Like the it. people who love that show love that show. Listen, I, he I had a death moment. He had to be a bitch boy until he had to grow up. And now Look. he's all about to grow up. And, and you know what? That's very recognizable because I think that's also what pissed me off about Deku because you're a bitch baby. Exactly. <laughs> Look at me. I'm so pathetic. Don't do <laughs> that. Fact, we have a job to do. He's a mm. answer. He feels things deeply. This well in Tokyo Revenger, it's like you have a job to do. You are trying to change this outcome. I'm, I can't go into right. too much of the show. You're trying to change this outcome. You better suck it the fuck up. Exactly. Suck it up. People are dying. <laughs> right. But, but uh the winner for best opening sequence goes to the rumbling. Yeah. Rumbling. yeah. So <laughs> I okay. So I was one of those people who were like really far behind on Tech on Titan. Um, and last year I made it my mission to like catch up and then I stopped. Like I rewatched seasons one through three and then I kind of stopped. And then this year I was like, all right, I got to like finish up. And every time before I even got there, everybody was just like, yo, that last opening. (laughs) (laughs) Before I even heard it, everybody was like, yo, that last opening is going to catch you off guard, but it's so good. No, like oh, the first time you hear it, you're like, whoa. And it it fits so much, boy. Shit is dire. <laughs> the thing is, that's it was the only, I have to say that's the only anime opening where I actually would not skip it. Like I sat and me and Khalid rocked out in this living room every week. Dun, 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 like, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's great. Um <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super glad that they got it um i will we're not gonna go over the best ending sequence because there is a lot i will say though that spy family did get a best ending sequence so i'm really happy about that one yeah they got it for a comedy by i hope i'm saying this right jen hoshino oh, yes there you go. no that's such a cute little thing i went and downloaded it, it was oh it's a my first two episodes i was like yeah let me put this in my my playlist <laughs> it was it was real good it is in my itunes library and we oh are yeah this to- yeah this junk is groovy i'm like yeah, listening to it while I'm listening. no it's good it's good um the so we have the category of best score um they have attack on titan final season cyberpunk edge runners you have demon slayer maiden abyss Spy Family, and I hate saying this, your boy, Con Ming. Your boy. Your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. See, now I gotta look up what the hell is your boy, Con Man, because what? I ain't, I, I ain't, I ain't never heard of it. That? I have never heard of it. I don't know what that is, and I feel like it... I, I want to say it's racist. I don't know how yet, but it is. <laughs> it's like, what, it what, what I say it. With my American ass, if I say it, it sounds racist. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll use but, my um, credit yeah. card. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the ones running for best score. I know Cyberpunk, uh, they have a really interesting, like, they have a lot of interesting music um, just based off of the idea that, first of all, the song is from Florence Ferdinand, but they have a, a lot of um, more yeah, current music, like I the, think. The last episode I watched, they had to see the episode three. Um, because the main character is Hispanic, so like they had a, they was at a party and it was just like a Hispanic like themed like song going on at the end. It was just like it's more it's more poppy music, more modern ish music. Yeah. Um, Attack on Titan has music that literally everyone fall in love with. I, I'm not, I'm not even gonna debate about it. I think I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna get it. Spy Family had so many good songs. It was so many. And honestly, not even just like the, the opening like closing, the but like some of the oh yeah, their soundtrack so that was so uh, was phenomenal. Oh, uh, I don't know too much about Demon Slayer's soundtrack for the Entertainment District. I very can't good. even. I haven't watched. I've only watched the first episode. So I, I can't speak. It's good. On it. I can't speak on it. It's very good. It's first episode is like, season one. I I 
if you can get past the first season of Demon Slayer, it it the action picks up a lot faster. They had to build the world. Like, no, 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 no. I think no. First, first season of, the, of, the, of, the, of season three is what I mean. I'm I'm caught up. I just haven't watched the new season, third season. Oh yeah, no, the music and the entertainment district arc is really good too. But I wouldn't put it over Spy Family. <gasps> yeah, when I think or, of mm. anime soundtracks, I don't think of Demon Slayer off the bat. It's just saying. I'm going with Attack on Titan. So I can't really say. So the winner for best score was in fact Attack on Titan. Again, everyone loves that. Everyone loves Attack on Titan. I mean, also it's just like music. it's very like dramatic, very cinematic stuff. You know, there's a lot of just yeah, it, it draws instrumental in, stuff that really fits with the narrative and what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go down to, we're going to go down to best uh, main character. Oh, so for man. best main character, we have Boji from Ranking of Kings. We have yeah, I know Chisato Nishikigi from Licorice mm-hmm. Recoil, David Martinez from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Aaron Yeager from Attack on Aaron Titan, Yeager. Lloyd, Yeager. Lloyd Forger from Spy Family, and Marin Kitagawa from My Dress Up Darling. I don't know what My Dress Up Darling is. So, so that, the premise? Oh, you want, go ahead, Spinny, go ahead. No, I haven't watched it, but I keep hearing about this shit. You, you've actually watched it. So, so the, premise, the premise is there's this guy, and he's a very talented uh, designer. Um, and there's this girl who's like a, she's kind of like a gyaru, but not really, but she is really into cosplay. And so she kind of like, it basically, he's a real quiet, like reserved, like, you know, and so basically it's like an opposite to track type of love story thing, but it's really, he gets to design different cosplays and she kind of dance, like, just like models them for him. But as they do that in their, in their partnership, they eventually like form a relationship. Like it becomes Aww. a romantic thing. She's a, tsundere, she? she's a tsundere, isn't she? No, she's not. She's actually ditzy. No, she's actually like ditzy, but like she likes him. You can start to tell she likes him, but it like <laughs> you just it gets complicated. It. It's, it's cute. Mm. It's almost like a. It's not even like a kaguya kind of thing because like it's obvious that you know they're into each other, but it's mm. it's funny. It's cute. Mm. That's adorable. That's so cute. I think Aaron's gonna take it. I'm sorry. Like Attack on Titan just had a you big literally year. I can't you can't go on social media without hearing about Aaron Yeager. So let me let me There's defend who are willing to go to and be his lawyer at this point. That man is like right. here. It's like your honor, he's not innocent. <laughs> but he killed the whole country. Don't, don't worry about that. He's innocent. <laughs> I'll I'll defend circumstances. I'll defend David Martinez for Cyberpunk. Um, again, I haven't seen the whole thing, but from the three episodes I've seen, again, he he has a lot of shit that happens to him, but it's also like, so it's it's a super capitalistic world. So he, he just goes through like dumb shit that's like not his fault. So like <laughs> he was, he's 17 years old and his, his uniform is being washed. And then the washing machine literally stops mid-cycle and it says, you have run out of credits. Please um, pay for more. No, it's like, or your your credits got overdraft. You don't have any more credits, and the monster scene just stops. <laughs> Damn. So, like, he instantly. Yes. <laughs> so he just he wears whatever. He just wears whatever. He goes to the school, and then immediately he gets shit on. It's like as soon as he walks in, um, uh, David Martinez, you are out of dress code. You will receive blah 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 infractions. <laughs> then he he gets in this thing. He puts his like little headset that he used for learning and it's an old outdated model. All the kids are giving him shit. The teachers is giving him shit. Um, he doesn't have the <laughs> the newest software for it. So he buys like a legal software to to circumpat- circumvent it. That fucks up the whole school system. So now he's, he's in the really going office. through it. God damn. <laughs> right. He, he goes to the prim's office. His mom's uh, mad at him. The principal's at him fucking kids hate him like and he's just trying to survive like this nigga's is like he's just he is just trying to do his best <laughs> to, to get through the Jesus shitty world right. like, and a lot of it is just me. not his fault 
It's like, excuse, like, excuse me. I'm too broke to learn. I'm sorry. Basically. Like, <laughs> and it's like, like, hold on a second. While I get my credit card for real and pay for my class. <laughs> And it's like he he's like, you know, he, he he acts like a teenager, you know, like hates the world and all that stuff. It's like he has reason to be like that type of person. Yeah. And then when he's put into more adult situations, he's still like a kid. So, you know, he's put into these adult situations where he has to kind of like grow up and he has to put this facade that he's like more mature than he really is or that he knows what he's doing, but he really doesn't. I can sympathize with that, but Aaron saw his mama get in, so I can't sympathize too much. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron I'm like yes and no. He is alive. <laughs> so mama, I huh? think we're going. To, I'm going to try and uh, we're going to wrap it up with best action. The so that'll be the last one I go over. Wait, who? Uh, wait, who won? What? Who won? You best just say who, best oh. anime. Oh, oh, best. <laughs> Who won best anime? I'm so sorry. What was best, best character? Anime. Best anime. Well, best main character. Best, best main, main character. character. Oh, right. I'm so sorry. It was Aaron Yeager. Doug. I told you. Yeah. Aaron, I, I knew it. Aaron, Aaron Yeager. Yeager. Aaron Yeager. Okay, Aaron Yeager. Uh, Aaron and like, why Yeager. would it be anybody else? I, okay. I, I kind of have a problem with that, though. Okay, let's talk about it because I, 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 I too. I do too. <laughs> I have a problem with it, too, but I'm going to let you. I see. didn't see him enough. Exactly, like he's barely in part two. <laughs> like he's it's barely almost, there. It's almost everybody else that's like doing stuff in part two. Like he barely. True. He. he he's I think. And let's up. be honest. What, that's kind of true cool. with the entire series. Well, not not right? really. Not <laughs> oh. really. But like true. part two in particular, like some some stuff happens at the beginning, and then he's just like kind of MIA for the rest of it. And everybody else is just dealing with his actions for the rest of it. So I don't think it's really fair to put him as a main character for that I mean, for that season spe- specifically. And I'm just playing devil's advocate. Like I, I kind of I agree with you all, but if you think about it, wouldn't that be some cool ass shit as a main character where you don't even have to be there and everybody literally like the world still revolves around you? You wouldn't even gotta be in the scene and everybody's still trying to fight over what you did. Like that's Listen. main character. You don't even have to be in the room and everybody's in distress. Look, <laughs> he did a Beyonce. He said, "Well, yeah. stop. <laughs> carry on." He's a chaotic king. I feel like what they probably voted for the most though was the first was part. They were considering part one. Like when he went to Marley and did all the shit that he did in the final season. Yeah, and I get um, that for part one. <laughs> but like everything after then, like part two really was focusing on the aftermath of his bullshit. But, you know, I feel like that's some boss shit. He slayed. He was like, literally. Girl, had to be in the room. Yes, be in the queen, room. give us <laughs> nothing. Give us nothing as queen. Give us absolutely nothing, and we are gonna eat that shit up. That's what it is. That's why he got voted best anime character. Pose ate that shit the fuck up. You know, he's probably. I have. I still haven't watched it, but I'm watching it today. Um, part. Yeah. Uh, final it's season, like, yeah, part Aaron, three. More. Subsection A. You know. Yeah. Right. That part. <laughs> yes, Aaron. Give us nothing. Yes. We love mm-hmm. that. So for best action, the runners up are, of course, Attack on Titan, Cyberpunk, Demon Slayer, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, whatever Licorice Recoil is, and Spy Family. It's going to Attack on Titan. It's going to Attack on Titan. I feel like it's going to be Attack on Titan, but I really would like for best action to be, um, uh, uh, did they say Ranking of Kings? Or longer. Shut I up. really hate that. You know what I'm really sad about for this anime, for this anime awards, that people did not vote for fucking Vinland Saga, unless it was Vinland yeah. Saga. Yeah, because I mean, maybe because the second season was the second season out by the time the anime awards were like populated, or no? I don't remember. If not for this year, I know next year's anime awards they're going to put Vinland Saga because Vinland Saga has been doing the damn thing, like. I, listen, I, but, anyway, anyway, anyway. I, I heard about it, but it kind of slipped into my mind. Um, but I feel like the entertainment district arc, especially when they started fighting, um, when they finally 
fight the demon that they're going after that those action sequences like those few literally it was like two or three episodes of like actual fighting bro them shits was good not gonna it was you. Titans yeah. action for part two i wouldn't even give it that much action it was more so like just the the debacle between the people like we said it was the fallout after aaron did what he did in marley um and just i mean the action in and of itself for that was really like emotional but i wouldn't say that it was better action packed than like spy family or even like a um i forgot what else or, or like a demon slayer like i don't know mm-hmm. like it was some intense moments but like the action wasn't like ah, ah, pew, pew, ah. yeah but I feel like people really, really, like, they loved it so much that the intensity was there for them. But it, yeah. maybe not in actuality, but for them, the intensity was there in their in their hearts, in their spirits. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I don't personally don't really see why Spy Family got to this category. I, agree. I love Spy Family. I really but do. But it ain't that good. It's not best action. I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't have put it in this category. Um, Maybe like I, Slice of Life would have. Yeah. Because even the small action sequences we get, like they aren't really action. It's more well, comedy. Well, this it's is the more last comedy. This last category we're going to go over like for real, for real, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, just to spoil. Spy Family did win Best Comedy Anime, which I think is justified. <laughs> the, yeah. I will give it that. I will let them have Best the Comedy. Was yeah. funny. Definitely it was hilarious. Drama. But when I think about all the action that was happening in the show, all I, rem- I remember is people running. That's it. Just, just <laughs> people running. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I really remember from that show. So... And trying to- yeah, yes, and driving. There was intense <laughs> running and driving. Is that all it takes? <laughs> it's oh, just movie. Don't forget the playing tennis. Don't forget the playing tennis. That's probably the most action I've seen. It's oh yeah, tennis. It's that's a true. Match. True. <clears throat> they put I, it. I, if that's the case, I will give it. I will give it that. I will. If action it means running and driving cars and playing tennis. Then my life is action packed. <laughs> they put their whole spy uh, pussy up in that uh, one episode. Uh, no, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot take him. You're anywhere. wild. You cannot take him anywhere on any I platform. Oh, you were going to be <laughs> muted. <laughs> You're oh, getting oh. muted. My <laughs> <laughs> Go <Goper. laughs> <laughs> So the winner of Best Action actually went to Demon Slayer. I thought it was going to be Attack on Titan again. No, nah, that Demon Slayer went crazy. <laughs> no. And it was a shorter, it was a shorter season. It was only 11 episodes, and literally the action starts within the second, third episode. Like See, and that's it's what I like. They and I, and I love that for Demon Slayer because I feel like they realized like that first season being twenty six episodes, and all of that world building and storytelling they were dragging it out, and they were like, yeah, people were like, you're about they to lose your audience. Did. Yeah, they, they drove. But after Mugen, like the Mugen Train arc, <clears throat> I'm glad that they didn't make that a few episodes because it was. It was short enough to be the movie that it was. That would have been all of maybe four or five episodes for it. I'm glad they made that into a movie. Entertainment mm-hmm. District Art, perfect. 11 episodes. That was great. I'm excited as fuck for this next one, though. This Sora Smith mm-hmm. Village Art. And all surprising is that, like, I really haven't heard too much of, about it. And I know, like, uh, people on social media have been, like, raving about it already. Like they have been, they're excited for this new arc. I am. Too. What are you doing? I think Clayton. I think because the anime finished, I mean, the manga finished like a little over two or three years ago. So the people that were manga readers, like they aren't really like, you know, up trying, not necessarily spoil it, but they aren't really like 
you know, hyping it up because it's so far gone and there's so much more that's happened yeah. in the manga since, you know what I'm saying, that arc. But I feel like this is going to be the arc that really t- turns the tides for the rest of the series. Like, shit's about to, mm-hmm. shit's about to continue to get I I will I'm going to give it to manga readers for not spoiling shows because they do a great job of not spoiling it for the rest mm-hmm. because they could have they totally could ruin it for everybody and they're like you know what I'm gonna let you catch up <laughs> I'm gonna let you do you so uh, that was the Crunchyroll uh, Awards review. Uh, I would like to exit with what are you guys' predictions for the next one? Like, what are you guys excited about? Chainsaw um, Man, Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw oh, yeah. Man. Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man, for sure. Chainsaw I was going to go Chainsaw straight for that. Chainsaw, 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 Chainsaw Man, for uh, sure. Bleach. Bleach. Um, Bleach. Okay. Ooh. The last half of Attack on Titan, because we know like mm-hmm. the last little. Um, definitely excited for the Demon Slayer art. Um, I'm hearing My Hero's action is getting really good and the manga's continuing, so hopefully My Hero makes a return, because I know this this past cycle, people weren't feeling My Hero, but after everything that's happened since the whole um, meta-human, like the meta-liberation arc and all the shit that's gone down with some of our faves, well, some mm. of my faves, um, mm-hmm. and the changes that my baby Deku has gone through, I feel like um, My Hero might be getting an opportunity to come back um, for positive things because the show is, it's taking that dark shonen turn that a lot of newer anime has been taking. Like, where yeah. shit's taking like this sweet ass time. Right? And all of a sudden, <laughs> shit say, whoop! Mm-hmm. And bitch gets snatched by their forehead. Y'all go. <laughs> Listen, because season six of My Hero Academia, ugh. Honey. It's getting crazy. My eyebrow gone. Listen, they, they ain't nothing off. This is drawn off. <laughs> is Girl, that maybe, it's, maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Because season Yo, five, you got a like, pinpoint sharpie. Season <laughs> five kind of gagged me too, but I heard season six is on a whole nother level, and I, I'm so behind because it took me forever to start to finish season five. So when season six started, I was literally taking my break from watching My Hero. I usually take like a, a, a couple of months break to let it catch up. And bro, they had season six on go. And I was like, well, goddamn. Especially how season five ended. I'm not going to say how it ended, but. Please don't. I'm going to say, because I'm oh, finished. I'm three episodes away from finishing season five. Don't fuck this up. I have to delete your number. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't do that. It's gonna create a whole new group chat without me. <laughs> like, hey, y'all! I'm like, where's Quinn? Who? <laughs> like, it'll be titled yeah, no, um, "League of <laughs> League of Extraordinary Black Men" minus Clayton. Minus Clayton. Uh, God, but yeah, no, I was spoiled, him. But um, for the people who have finished season five, man, how that ended! I was pissed as fuck, and I was ready for the next season. Mm-hmm. And now season six, I'm like. You, you for real? You for real for real? Okay. I'm gonna cry. Um, any other predictions you guys got for the next upcoming awards? Or this this new ain't era she, of ain't, it we're moving into? Ain't made it abyss getting another season? Because if it is, then that's that's a shoe in because people love made an abyss too. Um they do. Oh, probably um, a blue lock. Which I need to watch. Oh, blue lock. Yeah, blue lock. Is I think it's a soccer one. Good. Yeah. Blue lock is definitely a, a good contender for next year. I'm just Please stuck push. on Chainsaw Man. Like honestly, Chainsaw Man is probably one of my favorite things to uh, to come out of more recent things that we that that have come out of uh, anime. I'm kind of over Isekais. And yes. So I ain't gonna hold you. I was over East Eyes before they became a thing. Cause I was like, girl, I'm like, one more bitch get hit by a goddamn truck. I know you see the stop sign. Walk faster. <laughs> Walk faster. I cannot, like, I, I don't understand. I know you see the crosswalk. 
if your ass don't get by in 15 seconds, that's your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you can you can hear truck coon coming down the fucking street. Truck five coon? five no, blocks away. Been he's been personified. You can hear truck coon barreling high, high. Like, bitch, <laughs> that boy is- oh god! I'm, like you want to get sent to another world and be something else. Like you yep. just you want that to happen. You actively know you're making the conscious decision to be Ooh. that dumb. I just, I don't know how many times they're going to recreate the same idea of here's a new thing we're putting in a different land. I saw one of the, well, there was a something where they had like, there's a vending machine, just a yes. random vending machine. Yes. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> why is there a random vending a, machine? How do you make a show out of that? Listen, I don't, was I, I don't. This matters, now the fucking vending machine, bitch. And she just wanders the dungeon. <laughs> Up a vending machine, wandering the dungeon. Girl. <laughs> This doesn't make any sense. I don't understand this concept. So I can't weird. get behind it. Mm-mm. But so, another yeah. anime. Um, Wait, I got I got one more anime that I want to see next year. Buddy Daddies. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. That is gonna give Spy Family a run for its fucking money. I can tell you that. It's like Spy oh, Family, oh, but gay. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I, I know which it. one you're talking about. Well, a title like that, I knew that's what I was going. <laughs> well, the thing no, is, it reminded both- me of that little game, the Dream Daddy game. Dream. Oh, they're, both <laughs> they're both assassins, and they have to take care of this little girl. But they work together, and one of them That's is like a, like a, one of them is like a, a brooding, you know, gamer. Machismo. And when oh. he puts that hair in a ponytail, girl. Oh. One is throw your third, and the other is just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's the golden retriever and then the Doberman. Right. Love that. Taking care of a poodle. So, uh, thank you guys so much for being on the Ramen Bowl. The Ramen Bowl is always welcome to you guys. You guys are always welcome to come back to the Ramen Bowl and have another bowl of ramen with me. Um, Quitty, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> what's happening for all the people who are listening to this and not watching it on youtube it looks like Deontay's just done with me he's, he's giving up <laughs> i'm and so I, sorry for I, i'm gonna apologize to the audience for our shenanigans <laughs> um i'm i'm so sorry and you know what I, no i'm not no, i'm not this is no, what they come for what they, my, my what mouse they, is already on the leave button <laughs> <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you. Where's my function and sleep key? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's another episode of the Ramen Bowl. Um, if you guys have any comments or you guys want to pro- promo anything or uh, uh, anything, sound test once again, check us out. We're at like what episode 24 ish now. We're on Quite the same bit. amount of episodes that One Piece is on. We've been doing this for Stop, over two no, decades. we haven't. <laughs> Jesus. We, we've just been hiding the episodes, and now we're just coming out of Woodward to a phone. One episode a week, just coming at you. Exactly. So we're at level, at like, at number 28, so we got like a 1,000 and, and, and 30 or something to go. Exactly. We're coming at you hot. We started this one with a pre K boy. <laughs> this is Booba Baba B the B. A pre K podcast sounds I want my awful. Baba. A lot of screeching. <laughs> a thousand years. Wow. Like mm. <laughs> a lot of screeching, a lot of milk thrown, a lot of a lot of pooping the diaper. Like a lot just, of, a lot just of the, I it's just scratching you, and that's a story for another day. <laughs> so uh, um, the only thing I have to promote is support your local educators because everybody here um, has Period. Uh, experience being in education or college educated. Um, and some of us are actually in the classroom. So, you know, support your local educators, even if you don't support us, you know, do what you can to make hey, a your difference. teachers more. <laughs> Go vote for something. Hey, please. Yes, please. please. All right. And to, mm-hmm. and to piggyback on top of that bite, uh, the special education teachers, a box of chocolate. If you know somebody that's a special education teacher, buy them a box of chocolate because mm-hmm. it's, 
it's rough out in these streets <laughs> but um, in my actual promo again follow my art page at planet ford productions where i take commissions i'm open for them things have been slowing down because your boy is getting ready to go to grad school yeah so um again thank you guys for showing up for being a part of this ramen bowl um if you guys are have any comments or questions concerns please you know leave your comments in the comment section below and if you want to fight about our opinion you can absolutely do that in the comment section below again fight, fight all right one piece guys have a great fight me we fight back I off the planet forward <laughs> please don't fight because millie bite back i huff and i puff and i blow shit down stand up bitch ho go sit down I'm gonna take okay. the too, and i'm just going to leave all right <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> put your ear on this because you hear that oh